Update 2 on Tropical Storm Danny, which is located in the Central Atlantic with winds of 50 miles an hour and a pressure of 1,000 millibars. Moving west to 12 miles an hour, the storm is located at 11.2 degrees north, 41.1 degrees west at the latest NHC update at 3pm UTC, August the 19th. The storm is predicted to head towards the west-northwest generally, becoming a Category 1 hurricane around two days from now, and then proceeding towards the Lesser Antilles where it will make, or, well, maybe not a landfall, but it will pass through the islands in around five days' time. So we're looking at this weekend probably, or early next week when the storm makes its passage through the Lesser Antilles and on possibly towards the Greater Antilles later on as well. Um, it may be stronger or weaker than this forecast, but we do expect expected to peak before it reaches the islands. Looking at the sea surface temperatures, water temperatures right now fairly warm around the storm, around 28 degrees Celsius. Um, that will decrease only a little bit as it approaches the islands, but when it does arrive at the Lesser Antilles, uh, sea surface temperatures will be on the increase again. So, staying fairly warm. Uh, looking at the wind shear map, uh, low wind shear around the storm right now looking pretty good, though high amounts of wind shear lie between it and the Lesser Antilles. Uh, the water vapour imagery is showing some dry air, copious amounts of it towards the north of Danny. Um, so that may be a possible problem for Danny in the near term at least. Um, with wind shear of course being a possible problem in the long term there. Here's the latest satellite imagery showing how Danny's not looking so great at late. Um, but still maintaining 50 mile per hour winds uh, despite its not so good appearance. Um, the visible imagery also shows um, that perhaps the centre of circulation is a little bit um, bare at this point as well but you can see it pretty clearly anyway on the infrared imagery here and you can see dry air off to the northwest there marked in the yellowish colours um, so I suppose the future is a little bit uncertain for Danny but the models the HWRF does predict a hurricane um, um, as soon as tomorrow by the looks of things quite possibly at least briefly and then maybe weakening again but a hurricane in the long term there and there's the rainfall graphics as well you can make out some of the islands on the left hand side not well drawn out but lesser until he's just off to the um, west of the final um, rainfall bit there from Danny if that makes sense. Elsewhere around the world Goni is intensifying but Asani becomes the 8th category 5 of the year so far in 2015 around the world. Remarkable. Invest 93C may be a threat for Hawaii in the next few days and of course we have Tropical Storm Danny in the Atlantic which we've been tracking for some time now. Um, visit the website force13.com forward slash tracker to take a look at this view here that you're seeing right now. Um, we're still working on it but it's up and running and hopefully you'll enjoy using it. 54 tropical storms have formed so far in 2015 around the world. 29 of those have become category 1 hurricanes or their equivalents with winds of 74 miles per hour or higher. And 20, uh, 20 storms have become category 3 storms with winds of 115 miles per hour plus just one away from the whole of 2010 around the world. Bearing in mind we're still only in August. You can follow Force 13 on any of our outlets, the website force13.com, the main place to be for all the goings on around the world stormwise. Of course you can follow us on our other pages as well, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram, search Force 13 all in text on any of those mediums. You can also add me on Skype at Fool13 is the name on there for tropical weather chat and to also discuss tropics with fellow storm trackers. You can also use that now to take part in our live updates as well. Our next one is going to be at 7pm UTC, that's 3pm Eastern, and we're going to be staying on air for a whole six hours tonight. Um, some of that time we'll be talking, other times maybe not, but we'll see how it goes. Until then, that's all for now. I recommend you watch that.